All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Acha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine that's being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth and who are also in hope of mercy and salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble, which is fastly approaching, which is also already in certain parts of the world where Israel dwells, all right, the tribes, okay? When you look at Central and South America, uh, first place come to mind is Bolivia, all right? Um, so, we're looking for the Most High to extend his hand of mercy as promised during that, these times of Jacob's trouble, all right, as well as when Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth, okay? Now, um, this video here is, is dealing with prophecy <clears throat> because we are in the time of prophecy. We are in the time of things can go left real quick. You know, things can really, it can go zero to a hundred at any moment now, okay? It's already, I mentioned Bolivia, it's already, uh, it already has went, you know, zero to a hundred, you know, in, in, in certain parts of the world, okay? With all the f uproars and, 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 and the coming against the government and things of that nature for uh, draconian measures or draconian laws that's being forced on the people the people are rising up against their government all right and this here is a video i caught wind of one of the brothers sent it out in one of our group chats and um i believe it's you know it says a lot especially dealing with uh bible prophecy concerning race wars all right civil wars okay because America will go into civil war, all right? It's not a matter of if it'll go, it's a matter of, of when, all right? When you listen to these Edomites on here and you see these Edomites, you won't think they are harmful. You, 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 I mean, us in the know, you know, we know Esau is the devil and we, we take good heed of him, okay? But these devils look like frail, you know, wouldn't harm a fly type devils, but they'll shoot the shit out you. All right? Excuse my French. But these devils will shoot the shit out you. And they ready to shoot the shit out you. All right? And I'm going to play this video. It's five minutes long. All right? And I'm going to play it all the way through. I might, more than likely, I'm going to stop it. You know, say a few words. Um, and then, of course, we're going to read the prophecies. Uh, concerning this video, all right, concerning these end times, all right, so here we go. Democrats in the U.S. House of Representatives believe they have enough votes to push ahead with impeaching President Donald Trump. That's before a proper impeachment inquiry has been concluded. And even though it's unlikely the Republican-controlled Senate will vote to impeach the president, it's extraordinary how quickly the Democrats are moving given how long many of them previously resisted calls for impeachment. To get a sense, though, of what the president's staunch supporters think of the developments, our US correspondent Rebecca Wright travelled to Trump country in northern Arizona, where they're threatening to march on Washington. Saturday morning in Sedona, northern Arizona. As the sun rises over its fiery rock formations, we're on the road, asking the president's supporters what they think of the political fire that's been burning in the 12 days since Democrats launched an impeachment inquiry. He's not perfect. He's rude, obnoxious. But we didn't elect him to be perfect or the great guy. We elected him to get things done. What about the Democrats? What do you think about... These Edomites will shoot the shit out you, all right? And this is in Arizona, which is an open carry state, 
right? You can carry your, your uh, weapon out in the open, okay? Load it, okay? It just has to be seen, all right? So these, 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 uh, Edomites, now you're going to hear more, you're going to hear more of them, but they'll shoot the shit out you, all right? And they, 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 they're not going to go for the bullshit when, when, uh, things get crazy because the civil unrest might start with these devils, all right? They might start the civil unrest, you know, and it escalate into a whole big ball of bullshit of uh death all right because it's prophecy i'm pursuing impeachment of this president as far as i'm concerned um they need to just back off let the president do his job i don't think that's fair that's not what america is about what is america about to you coming freedom they're pulling the our choice of freedom away from us and so what do you think about the impeachment inquiry well, farce, okay. but if this don't work out, they'll come up with something else. In one of America's most picturesque landscapes, they're angry the specter of impeachment now hangs over the president. In one of these days, people are going to lose some confidence in this government, and you're going to see it fall apart. So I... it'll happen in our lifetime. Oh, it feels like it's... Yeah, he's ready. You can, the way he's talking, he's ready. And I'm sure all his friends and buddies, they ready too, all right? apart a little bit right now mm -hmm. you'll probably see a turn for probably in january because this will get really bad and this impeachment will just separate this party and separate the whole country and they're openly talking here about any attempt to impeach donald trump triggering an uprising yes yes and it's not going to get there's going to be a civil war it's going to be bad it's not going to get any better until there's some serious things happen Down in Cottonwood, we find the idea also being freely discussed among Trump supporters. What do you think will happen if the Democrats impeach? I think they're going to have uh, people in the streets, you know. I, I, I don't think it's going to go sweet. I think they're going to have, you know, people coming out and our side protesting. We never do. And it's like, come on, people, you know, get in the... When they say our side and they talking about Republicans and this, that, and the third, that's really a uh, cold talk in the spirit for Edomites, all right? Trump supporters, that's really cold talk for Edomites, man, all right? So-called white people, all right? Because Jake really don't give a damn about politics, Democrat and Republican, all right? Jake don't give a damn about that. Long as Jake can go to work, you know, get his paycheck, you know, and just wander around Babylon without having a goddamn clue, he don't care. All right. But these Edomites see that their kingdom is falling. All right. They see that their kingdom is going down, and they're not gonna go out without without a fight, even if it's fighting their own. And we're gonna we're gonna read that in the prophecy. It doesn't feel as though America is really on the brink of a civil war, but the idea has become a right-wing talking point, amplified by presidential tweet, and it is ricocheting around his support base. Hi, sir. How are you guys doing? We're pretty good. We're in town talking to people about impeachment. It needs to stop. It needs to stop now. And if it does not stop, they will force millions of Americans to go to Washington, D.C., fill the buildings, and clean the place out. That's what needs to be done. We need to walk in with nary a weapon by the millions, fill the buildings behind these people in Congress and run them out the door. It's perhaps meant more as a warning to incite fear among the left about pressing ahead with indicting Donald Trump. I mean, he's standing up for... And there's many cities like this who are fully behind Trump. And if you notice, these are all predominant Edomite cities, all right? These are all predominant Edomite cities. Now, you had that one chick, uh, if, you, if I was to rewind a little bit, she looked like she could have been native or a Latin woman. But she's up there with Esau, probably married to a white man, all right? Okay? 
the people. And they're not hurting him, they're hurting us. They're hurting all the people of the United States that voted for Trump. Because this isn't just political, it's personal for people like Lucy and the Trump supporters we meet in the southern city of Tucson at a classic car show. I am a voting far right wing Christian Republican. <laughs> See? And and he he mean that. All right. So these devils, they not going out without bloodshed, man. They not going they not going to stand for the bullshit. All right? And look at this. Proud member of the NRA, which the NRA is the National Right uh, Rifle Association. Okay? John is one of those who felt left behind under the Obama administration. We were forgotten. What about us? We didn't count anymore. It's like Hillary Clinton said, you know, the deplorable. What does it feel like to be left behind in a country like the United States of America? I didn't like it. You know, it, it, you know. Esau, Esau talking about he, he felt left behind when Obama was in office. These Edomites got some damn nerve, man. Some damn nerve. Out there. I mean, it's a funny feeling. In your own country. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, in my own country, yeah. How is this going to end? I don't know. But it's the first time John's felt represented in this country for a long time, so he will continue to back President Trump. And he's also prepared for anything to happen if the country continues down this polarized, divided road. There might be some problems with people out here, you know, and I think, okay, we need to just calm down, but I know that there's going to be a rift that occurs, you know, and I hope it doesn't go shooting, because that's not good. You heard it out of Edom's mouth, all right, out of Esau's own mouth, man, all right? He said there's going to be a rift. Let's look that word up real quick. And he hope it doesn't go shooting. Woo. An opening made by splitting, cleaving, fissure, cleft, chink, an open space, as in a forest or clad or cloud mass or a clear interval. A break in friendly relations. Okay? A fault, a grabbing or regional extent, basically uh, a burst open, split, okay? The meaning, the, the, the country is going to be divided, just like one of them Edomites said, all right? And that's, that's what it's going to be, man, okay? The country will be divided, and it will go into civil uh, war because... It's written in, in the Bible, right? It's Bible prophecy that these things are going to take place. And as you can see, old, crinkly, out-of-shape Edomites are talking about civil war. How much more these other militias that are out there, um, you know, who are right-wing Christians that's willing to fight for America because they want their, their, their hope which is Donald Trump to remain in office. And if he doesn't remain in office, they're going to, like he said, there will be millions of people down in Washington with weapons to clear out all those people out of the, out of the white house because Esau knows he's going down and they're divided. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 19, verse two. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians Okay, and that's these uh, Edomites here in America. Okay, you got your Democratic Edomites, you got your Republican Edomites. Okay, because they are the ones the 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 ones that control both parties are Edomites. All right, even though Jake uh, uh, subscribes more to the uh, Democratic side, but Jake don't know what the hell is going on, and Jake don't have no no say so. And nothing, all right? This is Esau is going to go against Esau, okay? He said there's going to be a dividing of the country. Well, this is the prophecy. 
and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor. All right. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. Just like dude just said, there will be a great rift. And he hope it didn't go into shooting. All right. It will go into shooting. All right. People will die. I'm here. Okay. Because it's, it's Bible prophecy. It's going to go there. We just read it. Okay. The 13th chapter. Okay. It says verse 14. Isaiah 13, 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Okay? And that video is showing you that these things is going to happen. Everyone that is found shall fall. So like everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword. Joined on to who? Esau. Okay? Because it's going to come to the point that we just got to get Edom. Esau, Edom has to be destroyed, all right? Okay? It says, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. And that's what's coming to you, Edomites. If you want to know why, how, how, how can I say it's talking about Esau? Well, when you go to the top of the chapter, it says the burden of Babylon, all right? Which the son of, uh, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Okay. And then when you read down more, the Russians, which are the Medes, are going to be stirred up and the Lord is going to stir them up against you. Okay. Okay. And it tells you here in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Because ultimately, after all, that hell that's coming, the race wars, the famines, the pestilence, the death, the Lord is going to destroy this place with nuclear missiles, okay? And you Edomites are the, are the, are the top nation in uh, Babylon the Great. This is your kingdom. So this is why we know it's talking about uh, you, all right? You're going to be as that chase row, all right? Okay? And everyone is going to turn to their own people. All right? The Israelites are going to get, get with Israelites. You Edomites are going to get together. Okay? And it's going to be all out war out here. Okay? And Edom is going to be as a chase row. And if you are an Israelite amongst these Edomites, you're going to be thrust through. Okay? Every one of the Edomites that's found, they're going to be thrust through. And every one of you... Tribes that's joined on to them, you're going to fall by the sword too. Okay? Like that woman we saw in this video. Okay? Talking about uh, freedoms in America. She looked like she probably was a Native American woman. Okay? Okay, last scripture dealing with this prophecy. All right? Hey, because we... Really and truthfully, man, the word is out. We just constantly reminding you. Okay, just like this uh, 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 verse 1 here in 2 Ezra 15 and 1, all right? It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're speaking to you the words of prophecy. I showed you this video, okay? What well, this video is showing. And so what do you think about something else? In what? Salak, like, yeah. This video is showing that these uh, Edomites, they know that their kingdom is slipping away from them and their only last hope is Trump, okay? Their last hope is Trump, okay? So if, they, if Trump gets impeached, they're going to war, all right? And that's just an old one town. There's Trump supporters all over the United States armed to the teeth that will shoot the shit out you, all right? And this is the prophecy we're reading about, okay? And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, which is the Bible, all right? It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. 
that speak against thee. All you guys that's, that come against this truth, okay, you unfaithful, the, we ain't worried about you because the Lord is constantly showing us that the the, uh, the prophecies are, are steady coming, all right? While you worried about uh, the tribes being all black, uh, uh, martial law is going to be declared, okay? All you jakes with unbelief. The Lord ain't the Lord ain't worried about you. We're not worried about you, all right? We're gonna continue to speak prophecy, man. Okay? As the Lord commanded us. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Point blank, period. Okay. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right, and the sword is drawn nigh. The famine is drawn nigh. Death is drawn nigh and destruction is right at the doorsteps of America. It's already happening in parts of the world, really all over the world, okay? Really all over the world, okay? Now, I want to jump down to the, to, the, to the point, verse 15, verse 14, okay? The point is in 15. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Okay. For there shall be sedition among men, and that's what you—that's what you're gonna witness here in the U.S. Uh, very soon. Okay, it's happening already. Okay, it's already happening in, in parts of the world. Okay. It's coming to the U.S., but the difference is here in the U.S. and all these other parts of the world, the U.S. citizens are armed, all right, to the teeth. So it's 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 a it's a, a recipe for a bloodbath the Heavenly Father put together, okay. Like you just seen these Edomites out here, I was showing you, like this this old Edomite woman right here. You would think you you wouldn't think she uh. She, she would do no harm, but she will shoot the shit out you, okay? Same with the rest of all these Edomites in, the, in this video, okay? <clears throat> and it's going to get to that, as we just read the prophecy. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hands, your modern-day sword, all these uh, different type of guns, rifles, handguns, you name it. Okay. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. He was talking about invading the uh, White House. Okay. Invading those uh, buildings down there in D.C. This is what that Edomite in that truck was saying. He said by the millions. Okay. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They ain't going to give a damn about no politician, no congressman, none of that. Okay. In the course of their actions, thou stand in their power. See? So it's it's getting ready to go down uh, 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 in America, man. Okay? It's getting ready to go down in America to the likes as the world has never seen. Okay? And if you're not in hope of the mercy and salvation of your Hashem you are going to be caught out there all right and all you guys that have left this truth okay turned your back on this word okay took breaks your Hashem Yahweh is going to deal with you all right you're an enemy of the lord and when these things come you will be visited by your Hashem Yahweh whether it be through an Edomite Okay, whether it be through famine, okay, a sword, the Lord is going, the Lord ain't forgot you, man, all right? So with that, giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord will, this was edifying to the elect and informative, you know, to keep keep Jake uh, in tune with these prophecies. <clears throat> Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.